So I was going through my Manly Manners book. I was choose something to talk about. I, just th I decided uh, there's something else I wanted to talk about, something that, that I was really contemplating this morning uh, in my devotional time. And it was, uh, there's a guy that I, that I know, uh, an acquaintance of mine, that um, whenever I meet him, uh, he's a Christian, whenever I meet him and ask him how he's doing, he's, uh, he's very glum. And the word is usually, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. No matter where I meet him, how many times I've met him, it's always his life is a burden, he's struggling, he's struggling with, I don't know what it is. Uh, it's not, not a very fun person to be around. It's not something you want to be around all the time. We all struggle. Um, but to have that out there on your sleeve all the time and making everyone else miserable, I don't know that that's a solution. I was thinking about that this morning and thinking and thinking about it. And I thought, you know what, if you're struggling, I, I'm referring to, uh, I'm going to be talking about people who are struggling with the Christian walk. If you're struggling, that's the greatest blessing you can have because what that means is you're not yet dead. Solomon says, if you fall, the, the, I'll, I'll paraphrase here, but the righteous man, you know, he'll fall down seven times. He keeps getting back up. The point of the story is, is the righteous man falls seven times. The wicked man falls once and doesn't get up. So the righteous man, he falls and he struggles more. He continues to fall, but he continues to get back up. And that's the key is he's getting back up. So the fact that you're struggling and the fact that, that something is difficult for you and, and something is hounding you and, and whether it be a pet sin or whatever it is, is the greatest, should be a great blessing to you. It, it knows that you're not yet dead. You haven't, you're not the man who has fallen. It's easy to get rid of sin in your life if you just succumb to it. That's what Solomon's talking about. When you fall down, and you don't get up. You don't fight it anymore. You simply give in to it. Whenever the desire comes over you, you don't struggle with it. You don't push against it. You simply just give in to it, whatever that may be. Whether it be pornography, whether it be alcohol, whether it be uh, whatever, name your addiction. By giving into it, that is not, there's no struggle there. But the man who is struggling, the woman who is struggling, means the person still still hope. It's like uh, the dead body floating in the water. He's going along, there's no, there's no struggle there, there's no hope there, there's nothing left versus the man who is splashing and thrashing and trying to keep his head above water. Well, that's the one you want to be. Yes, his situation is dire, it could be, couldn't, couldn't be worse. Well, it could be worse, he could be dead, but the fact that he's still splashing uh, means that there's still hope. So don't be too hard on yourself if, if in that Christian walk, if you find yourself really having hard times and struggling, that means you're close to God. That means that there's something inside of you that is warring the righteous man warring against the, the carnal man. So, look at it. I, I, I'm guilty of that as well. Uh, but look, try to look at it differently and, and just remember that when you are doing that, when you are having those difficulties and struggling, picture yourself as the man that's still fighting to keep his head above water because there's hope. It means that you're, you're overcoming and you will overcome. But by giving in and just falling down and drowning, um, there's no hope in that. So... Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.